Big hairy hello, peeps. And welcome back to the pod vlog with me, Sir Shade, and of course, Baboon King. Hello. How are you doing? Good and yourself, mate. I'm doing very good, thank you. Great, great, great. Before we get into the pod vlog, where we bring you news, a vlog, and a sub challenge, I just want to let you guys know that we are streaming right now. So, link in the description down below this video, and you guys can go check it out and say, Hello, I came from your pod vlog. Maybe, oh, or oh, I might be. Yeah, I might be doing. Ah, oh, damn, I'm having so much fun in that game, I must tell you guys that. But anyways, we have some news to talk about. Actually, before that, do you want to tell everyone what you're thinking of Doom so far? Like, how you're finding it? By Doom? Yeah. It's actually brilliant. Um, I never had... There was... You know, we have these recent games that came out like H1Z1 and uh, Ark and all that, you know. But Doom is such a fast game. You have to be on your feet. You have to think before you do something. Um, you can't just stop, okay? Maybe there is parts where you do stop, obviously, because you have to go l load in the next level. But, I mean, you you don't stop. And that's what I like. They don't, they did not lie about that. I mean, even Fallout doesn't compare to this game at all. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing about Doom, so I'm probably going to be watching your series on it. Yeah, just... Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me, Shade. I want to apologize for the first video. It has extremely bad frames. I did not know it was that bad, but the game did not optimize my settings like most games actually should. So it was set on ultra high everything, and yeah, it's got really bad frames. But it looks bro. Really bad frames, about one, two frames a second. Yeah, <laughs> and even my, my audio started desyncing. So, anyways, let's get on to the news. First of all, we have Overwatch. People have been talking and people have been complaining about Overwatch. Yeah, but, but, many people have raised a concern about the price of Overwatch, which we both agree on, you know? Yeah, it's about, isn't it 60? No, yeah, it's 40, it's 40 dollars. That's right, yeah, it's, it's 40 dollars. That is equivalent to 1,000 rand in South Africa. That's a shit ton of money. Five pounds, stuff like that. <laughs> a lot for an early access game. Yeah, not, no, it's not, yeah, okay, yeah, it is early access, sort of, but it's going to become a full version game, and that's still a high steep price, it's a very high price. And um, we do agree with the people saying that it is a high price. What we think, yeah, it's, it's only multiplayer, you know. There's two solutions I could think of. The best one is they can just drop the price maybe half. Yeah, or I think they should just do that. And then just like, half. refund everyone that's bought it. Yeah, yeah. Or what they can do is what they're doing with Heroes of Storm. If I'm not mistaken, it is Blizzard that is making the game? I have no idea. I think it's Blizzard. People can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is Blizzard. What they, what they should do is with Heroes of Storm, is it's a free-to-play game. You can also pay to play um, or win, win basically. Unlock all the characters with real money. They can probably do the same with Overwatch as well. Give you a, a couple of heroes to play with at the start. If you do like the game, you can buy the game at half price. I don't... Yeah, I disagree with that. I think that's a bad idea. Okay. Everybody to his own opinion, I'm just saying. Maybe think... it would be a pain trying to refund everyone because of how many sales it's had. Yeah, but you want to refund everybody if they, if they drop half price? Yeah, I know. But... You they see what I mean? They just cocked it up by making it cost so much. Yeah, if they just lowered it or something, or maybe if you bought it for like, let's say, if um, pre-ordered it, you know, and you played the beta version, you pay half price and I don't know something, but just half price, guys, come on, half price, please. So uh, let's move on to the second part of the news. And what will that be? Call of Duty: Infinity Warfare trailer has officially over two million dislikes. Is that on YouTube, yeah? On YouTube! On YouTube! The official trailer has got officially <laughs> more! Go check it out, dude. It's insane! Infinity War... Is it Infinity Ward? Infinity Warfare. Inter Infinity Warfare, mate! Go, go check that shit out. I mean, it's like... <laughs> two million dislikes. It would have surprised me if they took, uh, took the video off, you know? But, I mean, still, that's two million views! 
you know, it counts for the analytics. Call of Duty Infinity Warfare Reveal Trailer UK has a million views, 28,000 likes and 46,000 dislikes. Yeah, anything that is Infinity Warfare trailer related will have more dislikes than likes. And it's quickly becoming one of the most disliked videos in gaming around YouTube. That's amazing. That is. I mean, how bad can you cock up something? That is so stupid. Because <laughs> they don't listen to their fans. Their fans told them, we want a game set in the previous eras. Like in World War One, World War Two. That's what they want. They've spoken. You should have listened. You wouldn't have this many dislikes. If I had that many dislikes, I would cry in a corner. Yeah, I know, but it would also mean that you had that many views on the video. Yeah, okay, you would cash in on it, but still, that would make me extremely sad because I know I cocked up somewhere, you know? I mean, I understand you you would have likes and dislikes on a video, but if you have that many dislikes on a video, you know you screwed up. <laughs> you know you did. So that is a thing. Uh, do you have any news on your side? Um, I can't think of anything apart from Pokemon Sun and Moon, which have been announced. Well, it was announced a while ago, but the trio starter Pokemon have just been announced with um short clips of them in the trailer as Rowlet, Litlin and Poplio. I think they're just completely running out of names now. But what they are is um oops, just turn the volume on. I'm watching the trailer right now. They're basically a little bird, a cat, and a seal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and they look kinda stupid except from the weird little fire cat, which will probably look stupid when it evolves. But yeah, I'm going to be getting them when they come out. I'll probably get Pokemon Moon, most likely. For those of you that don't know, I'm a massive Pokemon fan. I've played every single one. N nerd, nerd, nerd. Give me your lunch money. No, I'm just joking. Um, oh, that, this is actually quite interesting. Um, the game I'm actually looking forward to related to Pokemon is actually Pokemon Go. Hmm, that looks good. It looks good. You know, I've played a game called Ingress. I think many of you might know what it is, but... Yeah, yeah, it's just very similar. I think no, no, wait. It's the same people who made Ingress, who is go is making Pokemon Go as well. That's why I like it. <laughs> it looks very interesting. I love it. Yes, that is a quite a, of a potent thing. Last thing on the news before we go, I just wanted to say that Amazon is going to try to compete with YouTube now by releasing their own platform of video uploading and content creation and all that. Yeah, I'm also happy on YouTube. YouTube knows the ropes and stuff. Um, I read an article where the guy said, listen, if they're going to do it, I uh, hope they have the the niche to do it. You know, the niche, niche. Yeah, the the, the edge, the what is, what is going to make them different. The only thing I can think of that makes them different is that people in America, especially, um, I think in Britain as well, and a couple of other, yeah, they... They have a large number of customers, you know, so if you might be interested in... Uh, this is how I see how it's going to happen. If I buy maybe, let's say, Doom, for instance, then my video might get featured if I choose to upload to Amazon. You'll get royalties and everything for it. So if you buy uh, um, Doom, it would be like, okay, while you're waiting for your package to arrive at your doorstep, watch this person play Doom. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. I also think um, that my mind just went completely blank. Oh yeah, they'd be able to give you more spe specified ads, like they'd advertise Amazon products based on what you've been buying. Yes, yes, definitely. So it might just be more useful for you to watch videos on Amazon. Mm hmm And if you kind of like the game, or I think that you should do more reviews of games which will get you more views, because you're going to review a game or something, or maybe a microphone which you're using for your gameplays and all that, then... And then Amazon, Amazon would be featured in the actual Amazon link. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that is the end of the news. But before we go, I just wanted to say that there is not going to be a vlog, but there will be a sub challenge after this. So stay tuned. Also, everyone, thanks for getting me to 500 subs. I love you all. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> I'm now at 533. Nice. All right. We will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Right, so today's challenge is the 
chubby bunny challenge and i've got myself a pack of marshmallows right here as you guys can see over here over here yeah so you guys can see that and um yeah i don't think this is a very dangerous kind of uh, challenge or anything it might like uh <coughs> kind of thing going on but i think uh, this could be quite a challenge and um i mean this i'm gonna do something different all right from what other people are usually do with the bunny chubby bunny challenge um first of all what I'm going to do is the rules are you put one in your mouth and then you talk and try to say Jabby Bunny. And then what I'm going to do is usually the person who cannot speak or say Jabby Bunny anymore loses. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it one step further. Up until when I cannot say Jabby Bunny anymore, I am going to play a game of Robocraft. Whilst having all the marshmallows look me look like a bloated hamster kind of thing. So... Yeah, let's get straight on it, shall we? Uh, here's the first one. Number one. Oh, oh. Funny little guy. Chubby bunny. Right, that's one. Chubby bunny. That's true. Yeah, I look like a freaking hamster already. Chubby bunny. That's free. Four, chubby bunny. Five. Chubby bunny. Damn, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> I, I, I'm smiling, but you guys can't see it. Uh, I think that's uh, chubby bunny. <laughs> oh. There you go. Eight thousand values. Mm. Uh, uh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I I guess I I guess I just you. Uh, now let's get into the game. <laughs> Uh, uh, the tea just is just falling. Yeah. Okay. This is getting sweet. Uh. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hmm. That's what. Alright. I try to move the stuff around in my mouth. So you guys can fully hear me. Oh, the let's go. For Valley has begun. I don't wait. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. On the way. Spotted. 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 What the heck? Spotted. Wow. 
Oh, that's good. 